it is Wolves 3, Manchester United 4. Wolves getting beaten up. The big bad Wolves tried to huff and puff us against us. But we were house, our um, house was made out of brick walls, guys. And I am so delighted with that comeback because it was 3 3. We was 2 0 up. Then it was 2 2. I mean, then it was 3 1. Then it was 3 2. Then it was 3 3. And then it was 4 3. And what a game for the neutral. But for us, Manchester United fans, do not do that to me ever again. We should have won that game by margins comfortably. But Manchester United have been doing what they do. Give us heartaches, give us stress, make us take our Rami prills, our blood pressure medications. And, like, and I've had enough, man. Sometimes I need a cooling pack. Let us cool down. Why can't we finish a match cooling down? Manchester United just don't know how to cool us down. And today, big up to Kobe Mainu. Kobe Mainu, Kobe, please, please, please. God bless you. Because what you gave to us today, that joyful moment, huh. I loved it towards the end, you know. I love games like this when we win like that. It's just beautiful because it brings tears to to my heart. Tears and joys and everything. And you guys love it. I love it. But I don't want to go through that again. I'm tired of all of this kind of stuff. I, I do not want to go through that again. Manchester United fans, I watched a match that was weird. We could have won that game by three to four goals in the first half. And this is the problem. We don't know how to kill off teams. And we need to learn how to kill teams off. Otherwise, we're going to have problems like Wolverhampton today. Big bad wolves and feel sorry for you because we was your red riding hood. You get me? You come to our hood, we turn it all red. You get me? But yes, let's start off with the first 45 minutes because it was a good first half for Manchester United. It was all good in 45 minutes. We were in control, you know. We did waste a lot of counter-attacks, but we was in control. Let's start off with the first goal. Because Marcus Rashford, after doing the nonsense he was doing in Belfast and got himself punished, he came out today. And you know what? Rashford's holding with the assist. Big up Rashford's holding because he had to lay that ball right in front of Marcus Rashford. For Marcus Rashford to finish that off. Placing it in the corner as well. So, Jose Sarr can't get there, you bunch of hole. You get me? Like, it was a very good goal by Marcus Rashford. And then Manchester United make it 2-0. And I couldn't believe it because we scored very early in the, th in the f first half. To make it 2-0, Rasmus Hoyland with beautiful play by Manchester United. Br Bruno Fernandes as well with a pass to Rashford. And then Rashford looking for the overlap run to Luke Shaw. And Luke Shaw crosses it in. The thing is, Rasmus Hoyland had to scramble to get into that to get that goal because that was in the box, low cross, finds a way to get a touch in it and then change the direction for it to go in the back of the net. It looked like a non goal, but it wasn't a non goal. It was a goal for Rasmus Hoyland. Three goals in three games for him. Big up to him as well, man. Um, he he done okay, but again, they so much time they have ignored him in his runs and his positioning. Like seriously, Ganacho as well, Bruno Fernandez. You don't do you not know Rasmus Hoyland? Do you not know him? He's not your teammate. Do you not like him? Cause I don't think you do. You don't look for him. You he makes tremendous runs, especially Rashford as well. You you just don't cross the ball to him. You don't take advantage of the situation. That's what my problems with with the guys when they when Rashford Holland plays up front. They just don't care about him. Two 0 for Manchester United half time. It was 2-0 to Manchester United. I was thinking, you know what? Go out there, guys. You better let us down. You better score some goals. But Manchester United do what they do always. Make it tough for us to enjoy a second off. And that second off they came out, they made me sick. We sat back a bit. You know, we invited pressure on. We let Wolves show us, you know what? We are the big bad Wolves. Wolves making it 2-1 with a penalty, which I thought it was soft. Referee, VAR these days, like, replay that. There was barely any connection from Casemiro or Neto. But Neto con the ref. Sar Sar Sarabia, who scored that penalty in his first touch, making it 2-1. But then Mac Tomine himself, Mac Source, from a corner, a set-piece. Guys, we don't score set-pieces. So I'm happy when Manchester United scores set-piece. You know, Mac Tomine scoring from the corner, which was wonderful. Knee slides, and then putting Manchester United two goals and restoring it, which was good for us. We was, we was happy to get that two-goal lead again, thinking, oh, thank God. And then... 
Wolves himself, kill man from a set piece as well, killing out Joy by pulling it back to making it free to kill man, bro. Don't do that to me. You almost killed me. You kill man these days, you know. You tried to kill man, but no, no. Do you know what Neto did? He made it free free because Manchester United, all those changes that Eric Ten Hard made, made Manchester United invite so much pressure from Wolves for Neto to equalize. But the man came in. Kobe Mino winning the ball back, getting to the box and curling and placing it in, beating Jose Saw, you hoe, you hoe. It was a delicious goal by Kobe Mino, man. His first Premier League goal, two goals back to back. Oh, beautiful. To see a youngster score that goal, a one of our own academy, love it. I absolutely love it. But yes, what a game today, but... I have to say Manchester United fans, it's my Manchester United holics, my Red United TV holics as well. Manchester United scare me. We just don't know what we can get with this team. We had our strongest team back, but we still conceded too many goals. Three goals we conceded. We invite a lot of pressure in the second half. The mentality of these players are not right when they go comfortably forward and comfortably in a comfortable position in, in terms of the goal line. When they're comfortable and they go in the second half, especially in the first half, they just mess things up, man. They really do. But And it scares me. And the substitutions from the manager as well were the wrong ones because they invite a lot of pressure. He went defensive and he messed things up, man. He should have went for likes for like. That's what, in my opinion, he should definitely went for like for like. He, did. he was scared. He tried his best to secure the victory by playing a lot of defensive players on. Evans, McTominay came on, Maguire came on, and all that kind of stuff. And I hope Martinez is fine. Player wise today, guys, because I'm looking at Mark Rashford. He did actually well, you know, for him, especially for what he just come out of the situation. Bruno Fernandes is a funny thing. He played well in the first 45 minutes, but the second half played a lot of bullshit and trash. Martinez, I'm so happy he's back. He makes a difference in that. Build up play as well, and from the back, building the ball from the back as well. Casemiro, you're lucky you didn't get sent off today, but hey, you, you did all right, especially in the set piece. But my guy, Kobe Minor, big up to you, man. Man, the match day, guys, I think I'm gonna go for a your laugh because I'm gonna go with Bruno Fernandes, even though he had a, a very good 45 minutes and a rubbish 45 minutes. His overall contribution was good, you know, at the end of the day, on average, he was good. So I'm going to give him the man of the match for today. Don't give the match. I don't know yet. But I'll, let, I'll leave that to you guys to let me know who your man of the match is. This has been your match reaction from your Bible in Spice. Man United Holics. Just take it one game at a time. We've got so many points to gain to get into top four. Let me know who your man of the match is. Your thoughts in the in the comments as well. And you don't give the match. Till next time. You know, Ivory Coast are still in Africa Cup Nation. Expect that. Watch along this weekend as well. Make sure you press that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV on YouTube, Rumble as well. And also Twitch, follow Red United TV on Instagram. Your boy, Everyone Spice, is out. <sighs> what a night. What a night. Peace.